Good morning, everyone. Uh, I think we are good to go. I uh, just want to make sure that uh, everything's fine. I think uh, my sound should be good enough. Uh, everyone should hear me and see the screen with the presentation of retail solution of uh, by Eocortex. All right. So we'll move forward. And uh, yeah, guys, nice to see you all on our webinar platform today. Uh, we are happy to welcome you uh, to our dedicated uh, retail webinar. Uh, let me introduce myself to those uh, who we are not acquainted with yet. My name is Pavel and uh, I'm the head of uh, Benelux department at Eocortex. Uh, also, I would like to introduce my colleague Ilya. Uh, he's our pre-sale engineer. Uh, he'll join the webinar to showcase the features uh, of Eocortex and their use. Uh, you already know Ilya by various technical webinars and demos where he showed the wonders of our product's operation. Uh, Jane is also here. Uh, she's with you guys in the chat uh, and she's ready to reply to uh, questions of yours. So feel free to drop your uh, questions and she'll be happy to communicate with you. So let us start. Uh, retail has a very long history uh, since the onset of trade, people have been exchanging goods and services. The first from a uh, form of retail was trading on the marketplaces. Today, the total volume of the world retail trade amounts to 10 trillion US dollars. Around one third of this sum accrues to the Euro European countries, actually Western Europe. The contribution of such retailers as IKEA, Euroshop, as adventure or media markets uh, to the European, European economy is huge. And all of them put trust in Eocortex. The, uh, the major retail chains are grown because they keep up with times, updating and modernizing their equipment. And it is obvious that no upgrade of a retail chain is possible without intelligent video surveillance. Namely, uh, it is CCTV that allows to save on payroll, reduce general costs, minimize losses uh, due to theft, and increase profit. Let us talk about that in details. To make this webinar more interactive, guys, uh, you're welcome to ask your questions and discuss your ideas right here in the chat during our online session. So Jane uh, is over here to provide you with replies to all of your questions. Also, please share your experience regarding implementation of uh, projects and issues that you could uh, ever encounter by your customers uh, within retail projects. It will actually help us to improve our software to make it even more efficient so that you could be more successful, more profitable with uh, sales of Eocortex products. Uh, please make yourselves comfortable. And retail is a dynamic and constantly evolving industry. 40% of the total number of stores worldwide belong to the outlet chains that generate a huge amount of data. The chains face some particular challenges that can be divided into the following basic categories. That is shoplifting, uh, that is inefficient use of a store's resources, and that's a failure to create a pool of regular customers. So these are the three major problems that we have defined. Now we'll go through uh, each of them one by one, starting with shoplifting. The first set of problems uh, is shoplifting and its scale is so large that the supermarkets lose up to 2% of their revenue due to shoplifting. The, th the thieves are not only visitors, but also could be employees of the stores. The amount of stolen is just in just one episode of theft may equal several thousands of euros. It is not possible to solve the issue using human resources only. And here the video analytics can come to our aid. And the first one, um, the first task that we are going to discuss is 
tracking a thief using the suspect search module, a uh, unique eocortex module of suspect search. So uh, when a security guard detects a loss of a product in the store, what he can actually, uh, he or she, what, 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 what can they do? Uh, it could be that the product was stolen long time ago and the thief um, already left. Or maybe he's still in the shop. He's still here. To identify the shoplifter, the suspect search module can be used. Using the search in the archive feature, the store employee finds the moment of the theft. Then by specifying distinguishing characteristics, such as color of clothes, uh, he looks for the suspect in the archive. Now uh, he has the frames with the moment of shoplifting occurred and the personal appearance uh, of the potential criminal. Use this module together with face detection to obtain the face of the criminal for his or her subsequent uh, recognition. As a result, the security guard will be able to apprehend the thief at the scene or pass the data to the police if the shoplifting happened a while ago. By the way, uh, here's what had happened in Belgium uh, where more than 30 stores and sh shopping centers use eocortex video surveillance. One of them is Belgian do-it-yourself store called Stock Lux that operates a video surveillance system of 90 IP cameras. In the fall of 2018, uh, the eocortex CCTV system helped the security department of the store to find a thief. When the theft was detected, the employees tend to the archive uh, videos and using the interactive search they found the thief and tracked his movement and the face detection module was showed to them uh, showed, showed them the face then with the help of third party software the employees of the store found the thief on the facebook account on the facebook his account and then they sent him a private message asking him to return the stolen goods or stolen merchandise uh, the thief agreed uh, and he brought the goods back to, and, and he apologized. And it is just one of the examples of solving a crime and recovering stolen goods with help of intelligent modules developed by Eocortex. But now, how to prevent a known criminal to steal again? And prevention, that is one of important tasks of CCTV system as well. Uh, the, so the face recognition module can actually prevent uh, the recurrent stealing. This module allows you to create the database of faces where you can enter the photos of the unwanted visitors or potential criminals. Every time a face of such person appears in the frame, Eocortex will send an alarm notification and the security guard will be able to respond promptly and apprehend the wrongdoer or the, the, the criminal. Moreover, it will be possible to download the reports with the videos and other data related to the time when the criminals were in the store and pass it to police for subsequent investigation. Some stores also use the face recognition system for arranging access to their restricted areas and warehouses. Your customers may find other use uses for these modules as well. By the way, the face recognition module will undergo major changes in version 2.8 that will be released in September. Be alert to the news in your social networks in order not to miss our announcement regarding the corresponding webinar. Now let us move on. Do you have any idea how inventive can be those who aim to steal? The people who work uh, directly with end users are sure to have many such stories. And we will now tell you how to prevent breaking in using the, the tracking module and four thermal cameras. There are actually uh, various ways to enter the store premises illegally. Over the fence, through the door, from the basement or through the roof. Uh, in this particular case, uh, the thieves were stealing customers' electronics devices through the roof of the store. 
it was imperative to find a solution to stop the stealing because each episode was doing damage for more than 50,000 euros. So to solve this problem, the integrated decided to use the tracking and sabotage detection modules of ear cortex. Uh, and they work like this. The tracking module detects the presence of the foreign object in the mentioned area, so on the roof. Uh, as soon as the object crosses the preset borderline, a security person receives a message with the frame with the intrusion uh, that happened. And the sabotage detection module ensures that the camera is operatable and able to register the required evidence of the breaking. <clears throat> and as a result, the store owner um, and safeguards of the uh, safeguards the property and minimizes the losses um, from the theft. That is exactly what happened in the store of uh, MediaMark. The tracking module integrated with thermal cameras detected the presence of the intruders on the roof, preventing one more theft and saving the store money. Uh, and here you can see the functional that helps to prevent intrusion. Now, uh, Ilya, can you please show us how ear cortex can, use, uh, can be used to solve the problems of shaft lift lifting and intrusion? Okay. Uh, hello, everyone, again. Now I'm going to show you the real case from one of our partners from Benelux. Let me upload the video. Uh, this video was provided by our uh, Belgium partner, Visuatech, and it's uh, so informative that we uh, wanted to show you this case in real time. So, uh, if we have a case when we found uh, stolen good in our shop, then we need to uh, run the search
operator needs to select the samples that are correctly uh, were found. And then go to uh, another moment of time. So there is a timeline. Messengers. So uh, that was a very informative video from our partner. Uh, if uh, you have any questions, please uh, ask them in chat or in the question section. And during the webinar, I will answer in your questions. So, Pavel, please continue your presentation. All right. Uh, thanks a lot, Ilya, for such an informative presentation. So we shall move to uh, to the next group of issues. And the next problem uh, that was defined by us uh, in retail is the inefficient use of the store's resources resulting in the loose uh, in the loss of profit only 30 percent of the offline stores visitors are converted it into buyers according to statistics in different countries this percentage may be larger or smaller but the main point is the same most visitors leave a store without making a purchase and the main aim of store owner is to increase profit, of course. According to statistics, the 2% of increase in conversion results in 20% boost in revenue. And you can review the mathematical calculation, calculation in detail, but the economic benefit for your customer is quite apparent. And in order to uh, stimulate growth of sales, Eocortex offers the following solution. First off, it is possible to calculate a store's conversion using the people counting module. It will help the end user to see the level of revenue that he is losing and make timely measures to improve service, his services and increase uh, sales. The module performs counting of visitors. A client compares the number of visitors in the num and the number of 
purchases and gets the conversion ratio. Using this data, the client can start the internal audit of the store to identify the problems uh, and issues. This picture clearly illustrates how the module operates. So basically it counts people entering the shop and exiting the shop. Uh, it can count people uh, moving as single objects or it can count people moving in groups as well as you can combine statistic statistics from several shops in your retail chain and then see the statistics and, and uh, see the conversion. After learning the conversion rate here, your client will need to take measures to increase it, of course. The planogram of goods in the stores is one of the factors directly influencing the purchasing decisions. And the heat map module is able to aid in these tasks uh, to increase the profit and optimize the planogram. Using heat map, the client will be able to obtain a map of most popular routes of the stores and he can also plan sales promotions in the most efficient way. If there are, uh, if this, if there are premises that are for rent in the store, it is possible to put different lease prices in accordance with the popularity of the route amongst your customers. Also, the owner of the shop can optimize the planogram, facilitating the access of customers to the goods. Uh, here is the brief illustration of uh, heat map modules operation. And of course, you can get the demo uh, or the trial version uh, to test this module in, uh, on, on, on one of your real objects with your customers. It is a well-known fact that the returning customers bring the most profit to a store. And to keep returning, a customer must be satisfied. One of the main parameters influencing customer satisfaction is the availability of the desired goods and the lack of queues. According to studies, the European stores lose around 50 million euros due to the issues with the above. And eCortex offers a solution able to increase profit by boosting your customer loyalty. In version 2.7, a new module called Shell Fullness Check has become available to our customers. And let us look at this module in more detail. The module was introduced into the basic version of the software in response to the high demand among uh, end customers. The stores lose around 4% of their revenue with customers cannot find the needed goods on the shelves. It results in the reduction of average spend and the increase of discontent. The shelf fullness check module solves the problem of the absence of goods on the shelves. When the percentage of shelf fullness drops below the threshold level, the client receives a corresponding notification. Once again, as a push message, an email, SMS, or it can be a message in uh, your mobile messengers, like Facebook, for example. It, permit, it permits uh, to refill the suppliers in time and cope with the demand of the customers. And a report generated by the module shows the time when the demand is at its highest level. So at this point of time, you must be fully prepared to refill the goods. One of the cases, uh, the biller chain of stores was losing money. To, the demand was there, but the goods were not. The merchandises were failing to control the fullness of the shelves and the quality of planograms, especially during the sales promotions. And the video analytics uh, came to their aid. They installed one camera for each group of goods and set the threshold value. Thus, when the shelf was getting emptied, the employee of the store knew what goods were lacking and uh, which were on the shelf. It expedited the filling of the shelf. 
This module does not work with existing cameras that are directed at the shop, at the floor of the shop. That means that you will be able to sell more cameras for a project to your customer. And the next solution is aimed at increasing the profit of the store and it is people counting in the queue module. Let us go through this feature. According to studies, around 70% of the customers leave the store without making apaches if there are queues. It obviously leads to the decrease in sales. And using the people counting module in queue allows to open in new checkout counters in time when there are many people in the store. So the store's employees can set the threshold value of people waiting in the, um, waiting in the shop and when this threshold is reached, Eacortex sends a notification so that the store personnel open more checkouts. And now Ilya will demonstrate how these modules are used. Ilya? Yeah, I'm here again. Thank uh, you. So, uh, again, please... May let me know in the chat if you see my screen. Yeah, great. Uh, so uh, let's start with the, our newest module, uh, Shelf Fullness Check. So uh, it's available right here. So this module uh, can show us the real-time status of the shelf uh, with the uh, fullness percentage uh, shown right here. So this module compares the default image of the um, empty shelf uh, with the real-time conditions. Uh, we can set the timeout uh, for the check uh, that uh, will be waiting after the motion will stop in this area, the, uh, this monitor will be uploaded. So we can see in real time that uh, the percentage is changing and uh, we see that uh, the fullness is changing and the operator is informed about the shelf status. Also, uh, we can see the events about this module so, for example, choose uh, only this camera, shelves, and uh, use only events about the intelligent modules and receive uh, the notifications if we set them for the uh, concrete fullness of the shelf. So, right here we can see the events when this uh, shelf was totally empty. So. Uh, we can raise the efficiency uh, of the store if we know when the shelf is empty and uh, when we receive the immediate notifications uh, when it uh, is empty and we need to fill it up. Also, we can get the report for this module for the concrete period. and see uh, how many minutes uh, this shelf was empty across uh, the concrete time. So let's set another period. And we see how many minutes the shelf was, uh, the shelf fullness was lower than 40% during the hours. So we know that uh, during the morning hours, uh, most of the time, this shelf was empty. Then, another module that I wanted to show you is uh, the people counting in the queue module. This module uses the neural network to understand uh, that these are people and uh, how many people are in this area. 
So we see the real-time status of this check-in and also we can see the events uh, of this module if uh, the uh, check-in was overloaded. So we select this camera, select intelligent modules and see the events when the queue was overloaded. So we receive these uh, events. Uh, we can set the notifications again for the uh, push notifications uh, in your mobile application or in the messengers. Also, we can build a report for the counting in the queue as well and see uh, how much overloaded was uh, this check-in during the day. So uh, for this uh, report, we can understand that mostly this check-in was overloaded and efficiency of this store is not very high. So we uh, need to improve that. Settings of these modules are pretty simple. So if we are talking about the shelf fullness check module, we can add several uh, zones uh, for the counting. We just uh, moving this zone to uh, get rid of the uh, prices in this zone and so on. Then we save the frame when the shelf was empty, set the uh, threshold. So right now it's 40%, you can change it if you need and uh, set the refresh interval. You can add several shelves uh, on one camera if you need and set uh, different uh, refresh intervals and uh, thresholds for every shelf and uh, set different notifications for every shelf. As for the people counting in the queue module, uh, we also can set uh, different zones to count different uh, check-ins on one camera, set uh, different sensitivity for every uh, queue if it depends on the uh, image quality from different cameras and set the maximal permissible uh, number of people in the queue as well. Uh, so, Pavel, I think that was uh, all about the demonstration, so you can continue. Thank you, Ilya. Uh, and guys, please be active, uh, ask your questions. Uh, Ilya is still here to provide you with uh, replies on any technical matter uh, in regards to uh, this webinar and uh, Eocortex functionality for ETL. So um, we have touched upon the issues frequently encountered by the end users in the sphere of retail, as well as uh, demonstrated how Eocortex helps to cope with them. Uh, most of you uh, guys have customers from retail sphere, so please feel free to register your projects, requests, um, as well as uh, please feel uh, free to uh, to complete the feedback form uh, that will be available in the end of this webinar. Um, and we'll be happy to assist you with your requests. Uh, for those who have stayed with us until the end, we offer uh, a free of charge three month uh, license uh, with Ultra, 20 channels of Ultra, uh, with the shelf fullness check module and with other modules retail, uh, uh, dedicated to retail uh, sector, as well as we'll include face recognition licenses over there as well, so that you can test the functionality in your lab or uh, directly on the project site with your customers.
And our managers will also get in touch with you uh, in regards to uh, the trial licenses and will provide you with all the necessary instructions. Uh, please stay tuned and uh, feel free to visit our next webinars. As I advised before, uh, one of our modules, uh, face recognition module, will undergo major change. Uh, there will be three different modules, one dedicated to access control, one to uh, recognition of people in dense flows or uh, crowded areas with multiple face recognition. So that is something that going to be very interesting for you guys, for retail and as well as uh, for uh, stadiums or uh, safe city solutions. Um, and the third module will allow to count unique visitors. Uh, so actually module that was adapted specifically for uh, retail sector. We would also like to ask you some questions uh, that would enable us to make a topic of the next webinar more helpful for you. So this will allow us to be more efficient with our webinars and information that we provide you with. So our webinar is coming to an end. Uh, I'll just drop the questionnaire form over here. Here it is. Please feel free to fill it in. I'll leave it for several minutes. And the platform will still stay online. Thank you for visiting us once again. I hope this webinar was useful to you. And have a nice day and see you later, guys. Yeah, the form was published, so please feel free to use this form.